Howdy. Viewer. I was literally gonna start like 15 minutes ago, but then my dad started talking. <laughs> Even though I'm like, he's like, are you streaming tonight? I'm like, yeah, I'm actually just about to start stream. And he's like, oh, okay. And then he started asking me questions and it went on 15 minutes. And then I'm like, dad, I, I kind of need to start. But I, I like we talk about it after. He's like, oh, sorry, I didn't know. Even though I just said I was literally about to start. But it's fine. We're here now. Hello, hello. Sorry for the lateness. Please forgive. That open, that's open. Let me just make sure I have everything open. Okay. My hair. Haha, <laughs> good one, Ben. All right, well, I'm gonna give you corn. Literally, I'm going to give you corn. Hence the corn pun in, in the title. But yeah, I was gonna start 15 minutes ago. I, I was like, oh, I'll sit and have dinner with my family first. Why not? I'll start a few minutes late. Then I was leaving the table after dinner. My dad's like, are you gonna stream tonight? I'm like, yeah, I'm actually just about to start. And then my dad was like, oh, okay. <laughs> like, no, Vigo, I'm about to give you corn. Don't worry, don't worry, after the story. <laughs> my dad's like, oh, okay. How many, have you gotten any more? Are you getting paid still from it? And I'm like, yeah, a little bit every like other month, maybe. <laughs> He's like, oh, how much? I'm like, oh, about like this. <laughs> He's like, okay, are you doing anything to make that, like make, make it so you can make more? <laughs> And I'm like, well, <laughs> there's no one thing I can do that's going to, like, allow me to make more money. It's just kind of an overtime thing. I have to build on it. <laughs> and he's like, okay, how many followers do you have? I'm like, 850. And he, he obviously won't know, like, what a lot on, on this platform is. But obviously, in 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 in, in, in the... In... in <laughs> I don't know what the word is. <laughs> In relation to like big streamers, 850, like I think I have 850 ish. Not a lot, which is fine. And he's like, okay, well, how can you get more people to follow you? And then he suggested, why don't <laughs> you, you tell people that if they go and tell their friends and get them to view, watch your stream, you'll pay, you'll pay them like five bucks or give them each a free sub. And I'm like, me, I probably shouldn't. Because technically that's almost like paying for viewers or paying for followers, even though it's not directly. So it would kind of be a bit scummy-ish and may probably look down upon. Because it's close to view slash follow botting without the bot, I guess. You're still paying for it in a way. And like, I wouldn't feel comfortable doing that. He's like, what do you mean? I, that just sounds like a good thing. I'm like, mm, yeah, but... Also, I sold more pizza. <laughs> He's like, yeah. I'm like, yeah, but I, I feel like morally people would look down on that a little bit because I've looked down on people who have done stuff like that. <laughs> I don't want to pay people. <laughs> I should have said that. I should have said, Dad, your ideas are not very pog. <laughs> I'm sorry, these ideas aren't aren't very five head. They're not they're not gonna work very well. In they're you're being kind of omega law right now, not gonna lie. <laughs> Misunderstood poggers. <laughs> Wanna be famous? <laughs> but yeah, that's why I'm like an extra 15 minutes late. Ah, <sighs> alright, so the game today is about corn and mazes. And I think a bear, like a stuffed bear. Dad, that's so Resident Sleep review. <laughs> no, my people, I, I don't want to feel like I'm scamazing, Dad. You're making me kind of angry. Okay, well, that's just a word. Sounds like it doesn't even sound like an emote IRL. Hey, Felipe. Yeah. And it's not a horror game. I'm opening it up now. It's not at all a horror game. <laughs> it is. Don't worry. Don't worry. The corn is coming. I, I promise. It's coming. Hey, Karata, shut up. It's 
The tags are adventure, indie, comedy, story, rich, puzzle. Recommended to you by Amazing Guy. Reinforced by Death Supreme and a couple others last night who were like, yeah, hey, that game is also is pretty good. But like I've, I've been Amazing Guy recommended this like a while ago. Uh, settings, 1920 by 1080. Hit me with the full, the full screen windowed. Apply. Yep, VSync on. Cool, cool, cool. Quality epic. Ooh, yes, please. Game cap. No, not scary corn. Funny corn. Funny puzzling corn. Where is it? That one. Funny puzzling corn. Hey, cat. How's it going? Cut the music. Handle epic corn. We're gonna see. We will have to see. Because honestly, some of the screenshots look so high definition. I should think of games where they can't find any. Corn tortillas. Like, let, let me quickly show you some of the screenshots. Real quick. Hey, Void. Like, look how high def this corn looks. This corn looks insanely high definition. So is like the grass, well, it might be the lighting. The grass, not so much. The corn, that, that one image, like the house looks really good. Like this looks pretty, pretty high def, pretty realistic, if you ask me. Some of these could pass for like real pictures, almost. So we'll, we'll see what Epic looks like. Okay, audio, I have it at 100. <laughs> Use real coin. <laughs> hey, Fallen. Alright, then I'll follow this up tomorrow with a scary corn game. <laughs> oh, hello? A developer that finally starts their music audio at 50%? Hello? Thank you. I genuinely appreciate that. Because most devs start at 100, and then they blast your eardrums out. Okay, I I wish it had like a little tick sound to kind of help me identify. The only thing I can hear is ambience. Oh, you guys can't even hear it. There's like ambient wind. I have it at 100 in volume mixer. And Discord's barely picking up the ambient... Is... Why is this game so quiet? I might have to crank it through voice meter. We'll, we'll get in game, and then if I need to, I'll crank it up in voice meter a little bit. Yeah, it keeps it's probably cutting in and out for you, because like I see it at the very bottom of the decibel meter. Just, just getting in. Max everything the lower headset? No. I always have my headset at 100, and I adjust everything else. Okay, that's all fine. Okay. We'll, we'll just get into it, and we'll see how it sounds, and I'll, yeah, I'll adjust as we go. Hope you all are ready for the maze. Because I think I am. I hear crickets chirping. Wait, is that? Oh, that's IRL. Never mind. That's IRL because my window's open. <laughs> I thought I thought it was more ambience during the loading screen. <laughs> Surprisingly good. It's what I've been told. It's what I've been told. <laughs> that makes sense. That's oh my god. That makes so much sense. Damn, that's crazy. New games to play, all the ones I find are not free. Brawlhall is pretty fun. I think that's free on Steam. It's it's like free S Smash Bros.
I had four upstairs, and I brought this one down with me. Because I was too full to eat it upstairs, but I didn't want to put one slice away. Hello! One slice away. So you know summer's coming. True. Okay, audio sounds fine now. Enjoy your dooming. It's a little bit stuttery in OBS, so I'm just gonna turn it down just, just a little bit. Oh, wait. Hi. That's an insane difference. Put potato mode! <laughs> I'll have it on high. That's a lot smoother. There, there we go. Cool. I hit my windows key. See, but yeah, this game looks like insanely good. Okay, but again, not when you get up close and personal. But that's with a lot of games. Oh, is bitrate going insane? <laughs> you know what? I guess because there's a lot of stuff, because all the corn. I can fix that a little bit by actually upping my bitrate, I think. Which I think I'm able to. Yeah. I think I'm able, yeah, I'm able to change my bitrate, like, midstream. I have it at 4K usually. I'll up to 6K and see if that if that makes it significant. Like, hopefully, bitrate works a little bit nicer. Oh, so not good. Nice. First time. Yeah, this this isn't spoopy at all. This is a bit of comedic and puzzles. Comedy and puzzles. At least, I think. When the pointing hand icon appears, click the left mouse button to interact. Yep, slender. That's loud. Adjusting? I guess this is just the main menu ambience that was, like, really quiet. Enjoy. Great game. Slot for a hand. Do I not have a hand? Am I corn? Okay, so we need in that bunker. Oh, wait, can I? Oh, never mind. I thought I could just walk into the cornfield. Escape repeat. Okay. I don't think I've ever... At least I cannot think of a game that has a, a tool tip in, during the, the very start of the game on how to pause. Unless it's like, you know, not the escape key. If it's a different button, it makes sense, but I feel like it's just known that escape pauses games. <laughs> oh, I don't want baby car. Because we have normal the baby. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Pressing Q does absolutely nothing. Okay. Thanks, game. Is it comedy. Funny! I get too scared. <laughs> to folio. An English muffin! Yeah, what if if I click it like a billion times and then it gets gets me the true ending? And but unless I do that bad ending every time. How do I open my folio? Hard as granite. Muffin is most definitely nowhere near fit for consumption, despite how much you try. All you've done is given yourself a headache. Oh, did I eat it? No, I didn't. Blah. Don't type that ever again. Fit times in a row also. Okay, thank you. Wait, oh, for clues on how to use it. Do I gotta hit someone over the head? Wait, how do I... Act? F? Okay, it hasn't taught me how to, how to do my folio yet. Oh, 
Oh, wait, if I click, okay. To the windmill. Physics? Can I... Okay. Press spacebar to look at... There it is. Welcome note. A note lazily scribbled includes a stock reading and encourages the reader to enjoy the complimentary snack on the desk. Notes to the reader to mine the boxes and also says, open the big door and we'll probably say hello. <laughs> so I'm not gonna watch. Alright, retaliate then. Be that way. See if I care. Wait, when you see the place icon, you can use an item. I, it says left click to use my equipped item. Do I have to break the glass? Wait, what? Am I already missing an item? Did I already miss something? Clearly can't go that way. No way. Oh wait, or maybe I just need my that not out. What? I'm already missing something that is insane. Yep, flashlight left behind. It is like the end of Portal 2, actually. I didn't even think of that, but yeah, you're totally right. <laughs> Reset. There's a crank! I keep hitting space, trying to jump. Let's not do anything. Okay, what's over here? Hubcap. Chicken coop. Oh, yoink. Alright, we're good. Equip inventory items by using the scroll wheel or the one and two keys. I will. Any percent glitchless. <laughs> Let's go. Is there anything over here before I go in? No matter how many times. Okay. Hold on. Oh, I accidentally clicked two. That's why. I'm like, oh, what happened? But I clicked two. I don't think it's doing anything. Okay, I think this, this is actually a debate. Three! Hey, Tara. Did nothing. Okay. It's goading me on. It does nothing. Unless... Rusty Nail. Can I beat it with my muffin? Sad. With my meat. What? What? This is a rock you found near an outhouse. You don't know why you have it. It is absolutely mediocre in every way possible. Its name is Chauncey. <laughs> okay. I love Chauncey. Wait, do I have to equip? Okay, so that's not equipable. I just have it? Okay, so I guess that's a key item. A collectible item. There's no way for me to equip this, like, at all. Alas, not. You know what, to be fair, if they named it Dwayne, the joke would have been overdone. Like, it would have been, I guess, an expected joke. So taking the Chauncey route, I think, is is respectable as well. Alright, let's go inside. I want to meet the corn. What? What? 
I didn't even hit space. It just popped up. If I hit Q enough times, now I broke the game. What? Why is... Okay, that time I, I clicked it myself. Still very loud. Oh my god. Dude, imagine. If I actually busted it. Light switch? No. Oh, it's so dark. An invoice for a commissioned wooden statue. Costs in the hundreds of thousands. Items on the list include chopping down a large old oak tree, carved statue out of oak tree, and hospital bills for injuries sustained chopping down oak tree. Didn't break it. Actually doing the glitch list, or the, the glitch any percent category. Would have been funnier if I didn't mess up. Pretend I said that in one, like, fell swoop. Night Danger, a, a Mick Murphy mystery. Having no talent at the genre, the author mistakenly revealed the murderer's identity on the first page and spent the rest of the novel outlining a story about the detective buying a pair of pants. All right. Epic. Is someone gonna say hello? Oh, fruit crates. What's the button? E. Despite what the name would suggest, the crate was specifically used to hold a large number of pine cones in order to start a collection. The collection currently sits at zero. The world record is an hour and 12. Wait, how many people are on the board for it? Might I ask? See the crouch? And see again to not crouch. You can do this forever. <laughs> secret door, making it much less secret. Only three. Sounds like a category I could yoink. Hold on, before I go through secret door. A sausage grinder, something is jammed inside. Hit it with a rock. Or a muffin. with the basket. Bathtub plug. The sink is now plugged. Okay. And? Open medicine cabinet. Nail clippers. Vigilant as you are when it comes to personal hygiene, the only two things these clippers will do for you are grip something lodged in a wall and give you a 100% tetanus guarantee. That's it. Okay. Oh. Rancid corn oil! Nice! More corn. Though the smell is strong enough to overcome a herd of yaks, you could use it to loosen something you need to remove. For some reason, an image of a gloved hand pops to your head. Leading directly to you, wait, leading directly to you walking straight into a wall. Very cool, thank you. Corn oil in the sink. Poured rancid corn oil in the sink. The smell is worse than imagined. Muffin in the sink. Basket in the sink. Clippers in the sink. Just look at the small, just like itty bitty. <laughs> Clippers just sticking its head out at the bottom. <laughs> All right, uh, secret door. How insane would that be, huh? Dedication to, to the pun. A fuse box, missing a fuse. Whoa! It did the thing on its own again. Wait, I went up that way. Oh! Yoink. Nail clippers on the rusty nail. Perhaps. For some reason, the first thing that pops in your head is that it would be a good conductor of electricity. Possibly as a fuse. You are very strange. I'm gonna try using this as a fuse in the fuse box. We'll see what happens. 
I know is probably not gonna work, but you gotta try everything on everything. Whoa, that's crazy! Alien abduction vibes. Yeah, I guess because like the synth, like strings going on. Kinda. Yeah, I know what you mean. I missed the text. I don't know what it said. Restored power to farmhouse. It's slightly less dark than it was before. Cool. Dark. Dark souls. Yeah, this is souls-like, I think. Still kind of dark. Okay. Back upstairs, I guess. Something's scratching around. Oh, is it this? Yoink! You picked up a CD. Good for you. A new path is open to you, to the barn, and silo. An old CD. It's label faded. Pressed on the first batch of CDs ever created. This brand was notoriously expensive and even more unreliable, making even the greatest symphonies sound like something a concussed elephant would make while stumbling around a music shop. It's kind of rude. It's gonna hurt its feelings. Alright, anything else in here? Crouch? Nada. All right, let's go upstairs. I agree. It keeps doing the thing. I'm not clicking it. Bobby pin, extremely useful for picking a lock, but you mistakenly thought it was a pencil and wrote a very detailed account of your day up to that point and didn't notice there was no ink until a few hours later. Nice. Stop it. Oh. Why is GIMP open? For some reason, GIMP was open in the background. Hello? Why was that open? When did I even open that? It keeps doing it on its own. I swear to God. Oh, that looks like a fruit basket spot. Corn virus. <laughs> I wonder if I actually did do something to my PC. Or to, to, to my keyboard. <laughs> um, I'll, I'll give it a little bit more, and if, if it keeps doing it, then, then I'll just relaunch. I want to wait till I at least get to it, like, guaranteed save spot. A wobbly wardrobe. Yep, Q breaks the game. Can't open that. Under the bed? Nothing under the bed. Okay, I think there's still another... No, there isn't another room. Okay, if there's something else... I think we still have to do? There's still something with the vice grip. Or not the vice grip, sorry, the sausage machine grinder. I feel like it would be the muffin. Yep, front. Yep. Oh, wait, this. What, why did we back up? What do you want from me, game? I know reading these is supposed to give me, like, a hint of what to do with them. I wonder if we're just gonna have the muffin the whole time. So you just picking the lock, you must... Okay, so, click. I assume I have to pick a lock with that. Do I? Okay. I mean... I guess we'll find out.
I need to find something that accepts CDs. Oh wait. Oh, I forgot it told me a new a new path opened up. I didn't click that. I didn't click E. Yeah, okay, never mind. We have other places to go. That's why. Hold the shift key to sprint. I will. And I am. There is a car. I don't think it's going to let me drive it. If you're stuck, remember to press E to examine your equipped item for clues. Buck. Ha. Something great kidney cure. Something, something great kidney cure. that? It's a scale, I think. Corn of the world! A book outlining the differences and similarities of corn species across the globe. Several chapters also discuss the, co the color yellow. Um, a few species are circled in red pen while no, 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 appears in many places across the entire book in blue pen. Oh, corn deniers is what I'm hearing. Imagine being a corn denier. In 2021. Literally the worst time, the worst day and age for corn deniers everywhere. Nice. Good, bad. Questionable. There's a pile of something or other you can sweep up with this. But you already knew that. But what you didn't know was that the broom is haunted. This will not affect your adventure in any way as the ghost is currently away on business. Alright. One half of a diagram. A diagram torn in half. Uh, contains very complicated looking equations scribbled in an orange pen. A drawing of a person and a DNA helix. Looks very important. You tried to eat it at first but changed your mind when you couldn't find any salt. Thank you, Supreme. I think you're right. The <laughs> corn disappeared. Ah, sad. Get pumped. Nice. What a looker. Okay, so there's POV, we are the broom. We need to find something to clean up. Get pumped! How's that? Also, there's also the silo we have to check out. Because I think we have access to both this and the silo. That's the house. Yeah, 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 yeah. Where are we headed? That was me. I actually misclicked. Hello. Can't even interact with that. I want to go over there. What if I get to drive the tractor? Oh, there's the silo. <laughs> oh, yeah, wait, what the heck? Why is it here? I can fix it. Don't worry. At least I think. I don't know. I don't know. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. I don't get it. That's weird. Oh, okay. Stop. <laughs> okay, I feel like I should just always be pressing Q. When just if I'm not doing anything, it glove severed hand, a severed hand perfectly preserved in the glove that encases it. It could come in handy if you could give yourself a hand and find a way to loosen and get that glove off. The first pun was intended, but not the second. All right. 
There's a whole dead guy. Very fashionable fedora. Worn by a very fashionable person. Due to this, you are not putting it on your head as you have not earned the right. On the inner tag, the owner wrote his name. Fernando! Where's Fernando? I have his hat. Toolbox? No. Oh, I know. I, I just kind of like saw that. And I was going to make another like oh, POV. We have our hand out. But I'm like, that's not as funny as like the... I mean, the POV, we are... The broom wasn't that funny. It's like kind of funny, but not like funny funny. The POV joke isn't funny enough to make twice. But then I'm like, oh, also it wouldn't make sense. Because that's not where a hand goes. And I just didn't even acknowledge it past that. It, it is kind of messed up. Uh, it took you several hours of stare several hours of staring, but you managed to deduce that the name tag in fact belongs to a dead person the dead person who was near. And that his name is Fernando. It, it took you several more hours to notice that the dead person was a lab assistant. And then five more minutes to realize that you were trying to read the whole thing upside down the whole time. Insane. Yep, we're idiots. Okay. My guess is that we're gonna have to dip the glove. In, in, in the corn oil. In the sink. That's my guess. But first we have to check out the silo. It's locked. Bus it. Open. Oh god, my ears. I can only turn SFX down so much. Wasn't loud for you guys? Oh, I don't know why it was so loud for me. A weather tatted blueprint. Though it's hard to make out, this blueprint looks like it's for the construction of a very large and very poorly planned facility, with a farm situated on top of it. The facility itself actually set an architectural record for having a large number of corridors that lead absolutely nowhere. These have unsensitive ears. Sweep, sweep, sweep. Needle nose pliers. You saw something in that sausage grinder that could be removed with these pliers. You know this because you spend an uncomfortable amount of time trying to pull it out with your hands, making no progress whatsoever. Epic. Manufactured by a century ago, or er, manufactured about a century ago, this telescope's effective range is the tops of low hanging trees. Okay. Possibly because lenses were put on backwards. Looks like it was used frequently with varying results. Yep, in the pocket it goes. Hey guys, POV, we are the pliers. 0010. Zero, zero, zero to the zero to the one to the zero to the three. Alright, we head back to the barn. I just want to meet the talking teddy bear. And the talking corn. Yoink. Pulled warped key fob at a sausage grinder. Not an ideal place for it. Fair. The warped key fob would be useful if you could flatten it back to its original shape. At first you tried to do this by staring very hard at it. It didn't work, so you set up to find a tool that would do the job much better. Need to find a vice grip. Hand. Oh, in there? Yeah. Loosened glove from severed hand. Slightly disgusting. Oh, we don't... We're not taking the glove. We're taking... Once you made it tear away from from giving yourself an unending stream of high fives with this hand, you may want to actually find a use for it. And it's not to start another round of high fives. Okay. I, I thought we were going to be taking the glove. Kind of insane. Where's the dresser? Okay, where else have we see stuff, son, that can be used?
Still can't interact with that anymore? Okay, yeah, that, that's, that's completely used. I need you out, please. Please, 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 please. Goodbye, kitty. Be free. Back to puzzling. I feel like there's a vice grip, it would have been down here. But everything highlights itself pretty pretty vividly. So I would have seen it by now. Is there anything in the car? Is there anything out front? Wait. Oh hello. Broken shovel handle. Completely useless for shoveling dirt, but helpful if you want uh, to tip something over. You immediately think of the wardrobe on the second floor of the farmhouse because you didn't particularly like how it looked at you and w would like to ruin its day. Alright, I guess I will ruin its day then. That was me. I clicked. I keep thinking clicking spacebar will jump. Just for some reason. I don't know why. Clearly there's not a jump button. Here to knock you over. Tip wardrobe over with the broken shovel handle. Insane. Attic. How many locations are there? There's whatever that is. The barn and silo which we were at. Whatever that is. Or wait, no, I think that was the thing where we found the dead body. No, it might have been that one. I think it was that one way over there. Okay. Burnt lab report. Much of it can't be read, but the words abject failure appear several times. So does, so does hurt feelings, sentient corn stalks, and why did we do this? Fair question. Oh, are these carrots? Oh, I thought it was like weird mutated small people. Smash something perfectly flat with this trusty tool, but remember, you can never unflatten things with this. It is a mallet's greatest weakness. Oh. Boom. Boom. Smash good and flat. Uh, perfectly flat that you, can, you can't help but toss it like a frisbee to see how far it goes. You regret your decision immediately. Okay. There's just a bayou, a swamp, something like that. Okay, so now I need to find something to use. Wait. Oh, it's not like a car key fob. It's like just a thing that would hold keys. Disc in the toaster. Okay, so all we got from up here was... I just want to make sure there's nothing else up here. But it seems like all we're getting from up here is, is a free key fob. Okay. But where am I meant to go now? Unless there, well, I guess there might be an area that I haven't gotten, like, walked over to yet. There's a lot of twists and turns that I can take. Like, what's this way? That's the bunker. Oh, wait. No, I've been through that. What's to the right? I don't think I went this way yet. Nope, this is where I started. Oh, wait, what's to the left? Locked up windmill, very cool. OK. 
Okay, is there something else with this dude? So royal looking. It's also the windmill. <laughs> Gotta be missing one thing. in there. Where's all the way back here? This is where we got the rusty nail. There's something else, but I think I used it already. Yeah, nothing else back here. Oh, we also have the hand that I still have to try on other things. Well, okay, I guess what we're looking for right now is just a thing to use something on. Because everything that's in the house we've now used. Is there something under here? Yeah, everything that's in the house has been interacted with. Well, everything that I have direct access to. Okay, I've sent to the barn. With our brand new hand. Where's this path lead? Oh, right over here. Can I do anything with this? I feel like this is here for a reason. It's clearly not interactable yet. Or at all. Excuse me. Maybe we have to give the guy's hand back? Is there anything else in here? Corn. Hole. Corn hole. Why is this corn all by itself? What am I actually missing? Okay, yeah, yeah, and we want to find a use for it. Key has been, key file has been smashed perfectly. Um, yeah, yeah, flat, so you can't help but toss like a frisbee. Okay, that doesn't tell me what to do with it. Um, just a CD I'll use somewhere. English muffin, hard as granite, the muffin is definitely nowhere near, okay. So it's just like basically a rock. Ben, do you do you know what I happen to be missing? Well, not exactly what, but like mostly where I should be looking. Just forgetful. Okay. Let me look in the barn. Hand on the bunker! Hand on the bunker! Hand on the bunker! Hand on the bunker! That's it. Thank you. <laughs> I'm never gonna be able to speedrun at this rate.
to the bunker. I think it was this way. like an actual maze now? Oh no, never mind. There we are. Yoink. Oh! Insane. I forgot all three of the shapes. Hmm? Hey! Hey! Oh boy, we get voice acting. Hey! Monka fucking S. Before you're allowed to enter. <clears throat> okay. A doctor and his son are in a car accident. No, not that one. Say the one about the guy who hung himself with an ice block. You just gave that one away. Answer this one. What animal walks on four legs in the morning? That one's boring. I'm Riddle President today. I get to pick. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh yeah, 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 that's true. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. It's, it's true. He is. I did been a vote unclear on the election. Oh, we should just give him a that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. An empty bus pulls up to a stop and ten people get on. At the next stop, five people get off, and twice as many people get on as at the first stop. At the third stop, twenty-five get off. So, which one of us is named Jim? Oh! Am I Jim? I thought he was Jim. No, that's Bill. Where's Bill? You're Bill. Oh, that's right. You may as well enter as we sort this all out. Let's hope you're better than the last one. Okay. I feel like they're gonna beat me up. Oh, and watch out for our brother down there. He's a bit odd. Brother. Oh, brother. Well, that was unexpected. Yeah. Hi, Ted. Don't worry about it. I'll reset the elevator after a few more months of data. We overbought on food pellets and have to get rid of them somehow. Bob, I told you to fix this elevator weeks ago. It takes hours for everyone to get in here because of your stupid experiment. Moron. Oh, I saw the other side there for a split second. You press the button. So I press Q. You ate a stale pellet. <laughs> You made a stale pellet. Uh huh. Wait. Oh, I missed my chance for a pellet. Oh, nice. Three pellets is all it takes. Bob P. McTavish, honorary lobby. Other oh, mouse traps. Welcome to Redacted. The future is Redacted. A flashing brochure that appears to be part of the proposed tour of the facility. Which includes what Bob thought a modern child looked like. <laughs> Most of the brochure is redacted except for the walking sentient corn on the front. Wait, let's start here. My god, Bob, what is this? Do you actually have the goal do you actually have the goal to commission a bronze statue of yourself? It'll cost us a fortune, you narcissistic dolt. Hi Ted, don't worry, I got a good deal on it. Commission these statues in bulk. I think they really spruce up the facility, especially for the tour. Can be a big money maker for us. Bob, you are so, so very stupid. What about the term classified, don't you understand? You can't host any tours, moron. And don't think I didn't notice you put one near the farmhouse. Repeat, classified. Put away, idiot. Ted and Bob don't seem to get along too well. I'm gonna knock that down. Bob, Mc Bob P. McTavish, PhD, MA, BSC, DOP, Esquire. Insane. Oh, he did Ted dirty. 
Ted S Smith, co-founder. Oh, Bob did Ted so dirty. Oh, th thank you. I thought so. I thought as much. But thank you for confirming. Because I wasn't certain. It's going to do something eventually. I feel. Hello? Brother? Hi, Ted. The fish shipment should be arriving today. Could you be a pal and put them in the tanks for me? Thanks. Bob, you dummy. There are thousands of water tanks here. Do you realize how much feeding these fish will cost? Beep boop. Pog, kids room. Skill one, skill two, following directions, craftsmanship. Why do they got like dog hoops? Teddy bear. Children block. Teddy bear. A Soviet knockoff of a famous American teddy, which says a variety of friendly Russian sayings when powered up. Its name is Vladdy, according to the tag. Insane. It's a nondescript children's block adorned with letters and numbers, and you spend a long amount of time trying to figure out which is which. Eventually you sort it out, but the number five still looks, still fools you every now and then. All right. Bob, you lazy buffoon. I know you're spending all your time here and not signaling the giant stack of paperwork I left at your desk. Stop playing with your toys and do your job. And also, for the thousandth time, why do we even have a daycare? There are no children here. Half wit. That's an alright number. Speaking of numbers, I watched the video last night about... about um, the summation of all, all, po of all um, natural numbers being negative one twelfth. Kind of insane. Ki kind of neat. I was like, huh. I guess that makes sense. I didn't fully understand it. That's why he did it the way he did. But it, it like vaguely meant that made sense because I, I do understand variables to an extent. I'm like, all right, I, I guess it does equal negative one twelfth. An obviously fake panel. Okay. Sticky notes. Sticky notes. Nope. Barbell. Dumbbell. Five. Try as you might, you are unable to lift this more than two times quick succession. And yet somehow you continue to carry it with you wherever you go. Insane. Sweaty headband imbues the wearer with the ability to walk at a slightly brisker pace than normal for short periods of time. It's not worth the risk. Okay. The only way the support could sound more triumphant is if trumpets were blared every time it was read. Explains the very promising results after examining one of the new sentient cord stocks, a breed of ruby queen coin that shows high levels of intelligence. <clears throat> it also glossed over the fact that this specimen is somehow female, which is apparently impossible under the genetic protocol they've still used to create them. Okay. You know what I hated? One of the things that sucks about public washrooms, and it, mostly these hand dryers were like the ones in school. And like it makes sense why this happened. But no matter what, you go to like press this, this like the little like button, it's always dripping wet. And I mean, I get it because you wash your hands and your hands are wet and you got to press it. But like literally always dripping. Like as if someone just like threw water on it. Those things always look so gross. Move to boxes. The auto ones. Do the ones that you like dip your hands in? There's one at the mall here. I like them. Nondescript rocked. A run of the mill rock, milli rock, with no defining features whatsoever. To discern it from the billions of other rocks currently in existence. Its name is Mabel. So we got Chauncey and now Mabel. Wait, are those ones bad? Oh, I guess because 
all the germs that get blown off the hand are just all sitting in there anyways. So then I guess when it turns on again, it's just spreading them all in the air in that, like, around your hands. They're so effective at drying, but yeah, I guess, I guess, not very good at clean. <laughs> Never thought about that. Hey, Mr. Fake Panel. Do you want Teddy? When does the teddy bear become sentient? True. Also, where'd the big corn brother go? Did I already read this one? Yeah. Fish shipment. That's so gross. <laughs> That's disgusting. Oh. As name suggests, this computer is old. You get a sense that it uh, could use an upgrade, and then you spend several moments trying to figure out what the word upgrade means. <laughs> hey, Ken. Bob, you disgusting slob. Do you know how, it, how to read? I almost said that, how to read. So I don't. That question mark looks like a two. Stop eating in here, you glutton. Build a bear. Place old computer at desk. Bob, stop playing your stupid games on my computer. It's screwing with my AI experiments, you idiot. I need, I need, I need to make a old school auto clicker. Guidebook of, I think that just says maze. No, there's like an, a V in the middle. It's, wait, L E, guidebook of level. Oh, it says level on it. It appears to be an official guidebook for a tour of the research facility. A large portion of the text inside has been redacted, but 20 pages are full dedicated to the giant vats. <clears throat> I mostly repeat the refrain that the vats are very large and contain things that should stay in very large vats. I wonder what Bob means. He's probably like a fucking Draven player. <laughs> Bob, you jerk, put my ram back where it was. I know you took it and hid in that stupid spot of yours. Bring it back. I'm just stealing someone's ram. Kinda cringe. Okay, he needs a backpack and then something else. I think it's like gonna be a radio. Okay, we need more stuff. Oh, this is cool looking. Hey! was no longer are better yet no longer leak player hey ted notice that you took down the painting in the lobby thanks it had a, it had a little blemish on it no sweat though here's another one be a pal and put it up would you bob I'm not putting up another one of your paintings you self-indulgent louse for god's sake how many did you order and why is my face on that stupid horse <laughs> okay Dude, I have left so, I have so many Zyra skins. Cause like she's my most played champ. Insane. Insane riddle. Ted S. Co-founder. Yeah, they're huge. A schedule outlining the work shifts of the entire facility staff. Most notable are the shifts for the two founders. They are completely opposite of each other. 
a memo from the U.S. government directed to the secret research facility, name of which is redacted. It contains an incomprehensible directive to do something with Koi, including an even more incomprehensible sum of money for the budget. The year in the memo, 1983. Like FNAF. Etch a sketch. Nice. Insane golden toilets. Is that BB no money? That just looks like BB no money. The invoice for this incredibly extravagant bathroom calls for Marvel settling out the two extravagant toilets and a sinking crutch with gold. Cost in the hundreds of thousands. Ted's, Ted left it on Bob's toilet seat with a very pointed statement on financial culpability. Hmm. Nothing I can interact with there. Bob's a bit of a bit of a messy guy. Kind of leaving shit everywhere. Kind of not a great sounding guy. I don't think we like Bob. <laughs> Wait, what was his title say? His nameplate? Oh! Okay, so he keeps getting his... I was like, why did he have to scratch Co into his? Ted had to <laughs> Ted had to scratch it in because he got it saying just pure founder. Fuck Bob. Oh a military backpack. Or the bear. Screwdriver. Military backpack. It can carry lots of things, none of which come to your mind at this particular moment. Cool. Bob's favorite screwdriver used to pry open Bob's secret storage spot. Is completely useless for removing screws, but makes a nice ping noise when tapped against a metal railing. Epic. I hope I get to tap it against the metal railing. Bob, you disgusting slob. Until you've cleaned up your s after yourself, I'm blocking your entrance into the bathroom. I'm tired of calling in the hazmat team every, every week, moron. That's why that's there. <laughs> okay. Oh. An invoice from a very famous painter commissioned to create a set of portraits of the founders. Appears to be spearheaded completely by Bob with very specific instructions on the style of portraits uh, to be painted. Cost is in the billions. Okay, let's go give our dude the latex backpack. Or er, latex backpack, military backpack. Or actually, wait, no, we weren't at the end of the hall yet, were we? No. Okay, let me finish going this way first. Thought that was a plaque. It's just a garbage can. Bob, you idiot! You got a you got a deal on them because they are completely useless. Nobody can wear them. Ted, Ted! Exciting news! I got us a huge deal on jumpsuits for the facility. I got thousands in bulk at a fraction of the price. I've already used the savings for some great stuff. Made out of a material that looks like it will fall apart at the mere thought of a gentle breeze. This jumpsuit should not be worn by anyone. I will not then. Invoice for an order of military grade jumpsuits at a heavy markdown from the original cost. All apparently have the name Mitchell embroidered across the breast. It only covers size XXXXL. The word defective appears a few times in very small print. Insane savings. That's all where all the profit margins come from. Security station. Hang it up. Nope, just taking the coat rack. Good for hanging coats, unless it is placed upside down, in which it is not effective at all. Insane uh, perspective of size while I'm holding things, by the way. Now it's just a really small coat. Now it just looks like a really small coat rack. Appears to be a report on the warfare readiness of the subjects of Project Maze. The report states multiple times the sentient corn is no discernible method of raising or operating a military firearm and have a habit of taking gaps right in the middle of a test. 
The term abject failure also appears all over the document, a running theme on many reports revolving the corn. Pardon me, I'd like a slight uh, bite of my pizza. Be something else to pick up in here because like by the looks of it i need like a radio thing for our build-a-bear friend vlad maybe it's not in here wait did i get a radio thing or wait maybe it's a combination of like the etch sketch and something else yoink wait why is there bandages covering those things? Oh, wait, does it come up on, on stream? Oh yeah, it's in the dead center. I'm not blocking it. Oh, I miss these. Hi, Ted. A latest brochure came back from the press. Take a look. Think it'll really boost the tour. And you'll be happy to know that the most sensitive bits have been redacted. Safety first. Bob, first, you're an idiot. That brochure is incredibly stupid. Secondly, for the last time, no tours. Third, if you're going to make a stupid brochure, at least add my name to it. We're co-research heads. Remember, it's as in same title. Jerk. Hi, Ted. Really sorry, but the final print has been done and sent off. I'll make doubly sure the next one has your name underneath mine on the front. Good God, Bob. Do you have the reading comprehension of a five-year-old? This is a top secret facility. Where did you send those brochures? Moron. I already read this. Yes. Where is the thing? Oh, wait. Okay, there must have been something... Oh, that's a statue. I was like, what is standing at the end of the hall looking at me? <laughs> is there something else in here I can interact with? Let me enter the tube. Be ready for a great year. Corn. Okay. Oh, wait. Ooh. Ram! Hi, Ted. Just a heads up. I put your ram right here. This way it gets less dusty. Yo, Bob's actually, like, legit just stupid. Or he just wants to be an asshole. Okay, let's go fix the computer. It looks like three sticks. It looks like three sticks of RAM. Look at all this RAM. Has to be at least six, maybe seven bytes of RAM. You figure that's the most bytes in any bit of RAM ever and search for a, a computer upgrade and search for a computer upgrade it with. Knowing not the slightest idea how to do so properly. Oh yeah, a lot of the item descriptions are just, like... <clears throat> golden. <laughs> okay. Alright. Old computer's been upgraded. It's not your best work. Employing the angry caveman style of upgrading a computer. You have somehow, against all odds, succeed to make the computer better and much less aerodynamic. Vladdy? What? What are you looking at? Something on Vladdy's face? Why you not talk? Do you understand? Understand what Vladdy is saying. 
But so boy, you're a big idiot. How you survive so by being stupid? <sighs> Fine. Bloody help. <sighs> oh. Why guy so many? Huh? What is this on Vladdy's back? <laughs> this makes no sense. All of this is very stupid. <sighs> so, where we go? Prepare to be insulted forever. Epic. We need you to settle a debate on taking naps. Oh my god, what is that? <laughs> what is... what is Plant saying? Is that a... It is... It's a helicopter! What? <laughs> da? Give me a ride, Mr. Helicopter! No, give me a ride! We can all fit just climbing! <laughs> my lucid drug! What's the way? Why grisomnyoi? Chitanya Vesela! A rude contraction. <laughs> what if you're just gonna be like that? <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, right. We completely forgot. We have a message for you. It's very important. You should hit the showers. What's a shower? I have no idea. Bloody does not like it here. <laughs> it was great. A new path's open to you. You'd probably go find it. All right, Vladdy, follow me. Oh my God, you're so slow, Vladdy. Can I pick him up? I cannot. All right, he's coming. Oh, insane, he teleported. I want to catch him teleporting. 